if you're going to consume food at some food handling establishment, you would need to be you would need to ensure that the establishment is licensed with the public health um, board. The headline from the front page of the Voice newspaper was startling to say the least. The story was even more so. A Bridge Street restaurant had a three-pound rat as an uninvited guest during his breakfast rush. Dr. Wen Gabriel says such occurrences should not happen because his department conducts yearly inspections of eating establishments. But if they do, the public is not without a way to get redress. When such a complaint is lodged with the department, we would carry out an investigation of whatever establishment uh, is alleged to have that offered that food to the person and uh, our action again would be based on our findings. The department says establishments are graded and certified based on these inspections. It is a comprehensive process of risk analysis. We would go into these establishments and look at the parameters in terms of water supply uh, vector management, um, waste, waste, whether it be solid or liquid waste management, temperature controls, and uh, with respect to con temperature controls, I'm referring to the keeping of perishable foods such as meats, fish, chicken, and so on, to ensure that they're at a temperature that would not encourage the growth of, of microorganisms. Dr. Wen Gabriel admits it is sometimes difficult to assess all eating establishments. He says the department is most hampered by small eateries that pop up with no discernible address. Despite that, they aim to investigate and certify every place that serves food to the public. We conduct ins uh, uh, inspections of virtually all food establishments in St. Lucia from small uh, food vendors to large establishments and hotels. I must admit that it's sometimes a little difficult to monitor and to control those, especially those temporary establishments that pop up every now and then. Uh, we try our best as we become aware of them to make sure that we um, assess them and we regularize them where that is possible. The public health license to operate should be prominently displayed where customers can see it. Dr. Gabriel says because of the current drought and weather conditions, it is even more imperative customers establish one is there before they begin to dine. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.